Now, again, the first thing, Ryan, what I talked about last time, the first thing you want to do when you're doing a problem and you're giving information is you always want to plot to draw the information, right? Plot that information. So we have vertices and we have co-vertices, all right? So let's plot the information. So I go over negative 3, 8, 1, 2, 3, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, to 9, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. OK, so those are your two vertices. Then I found my two co-vertices, which is that 3, 12, and 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 12. So that was 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then at 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So those are my co-vertices. So which one is longer, the distance from vertice to vertice or co-vertice to co-vertice? Vertice to vertice. And remember, the vertice to vertice is what we call your major axis. And so if we know our major axis, what else lies on our major axis? Our foci and our center, right? Now, they're just asking us to write the equation. Now, remember, the equation doesn't deal with foci. We don't have to find the foci to write the equation. So all we need to do, though, is find the center. So remember, the center is going to be halfway in between it's really going to be halfway between our two vertices and our two co-vertices. So we need to find the midpoint, right? So you could use the midpoint formula to help you out. If you guys forget the midpoint formula, maybe you, we could do it, but you could easily just find the midpoint of these two, right? Negative 3 plus 9 divided by 2, 8 plus 8 divided by 2, right? Find the midpoint. Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? 6? So it's 3, 8. Huh? Yeah. So you can easily find the midpoint formula, and therefore you get 1, 2, 3, up 8. So we know our center is at 3, 8. You can also do the midpoint between your two co-vertices. All right. So now, quick, since we know our major axis is horizontal, in our formula, is our a squared going to be under the x or under the y coordinate? Does anyone remember? It's going to be under the x. Very good. So our equation is going to look like this, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals 1. Since it's a horizontal major axis, my a squared is under my x and my b squared is under my y. Now what I simply just need to do is say, all right, what is the information I know? To write this equation, I need to know what a equals, b equals, and I need to know what the center is. Well, we found the center by using the midpoint formula. The center in this case is 3, 8. All right. A is the distance from the center to my vertice, which we can say is 6. And B is the distance from my center to my co-vertice, which we can say is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. So if a is 6, then a squared equals 36. If b is 4, b squared equals 16. Now let's just plug in the points. Remember, this is your h comma k, right? Center comes in h comma k. So therefore, our formula is x minus 3 squared plus y minus 8 squared equals 1 divided by a squared, which is 36, divided by b squared, which is 16. Done, son. Follow? Questions? Yes, Brittany. Uh, six for A. A was the distance. Remember, A is the distance from your vertice to your center. So since you graphed it, you can simply just count, right? Or you could use your midpoint and say, oh, negative 3 plus 9, that center was um, 6, right? Or the distance from one to the other was 6. OK? And that's wrong. That's six, right? No, that's three. Oh, OK, one, two, three, one, two, three. OK. Huh? A is the, di this is A. Yeah, you can simply just count 
negative 1, 2, 3, or, or 1, 2, 3. So a is going to be 6. Right? That's how I got I just counted it. a equals 6. Yeah. No. There you go. Good? Of course. All right, one last.